Today we're going to be looking at A Little Hope. It's another Dark Pictures um, game where it's basically choose your own adventure. You make little tiny decisions throughout the game, get into some wacky, ooh, ghosty situations, and you're trying to get them out of it, trying to figure out what's going on and piecing it together. Uh, a Little Hope comes directly after Man of Medan, which in my opinion wasn't the greatest um, Dark Pictures game that they've released. Um, but in comparison between that game and this game, I found that the characters were very, very well established. I enjoyed a lot of the intertwining conversations that were happening between them. I really enjoyed piecing together the, the mystery of the town and everything that was going on during it, finding these little memories along the way, um, picking up the little icons and uh, finding out people's names, where they were and everything like that was really, really interesting to me. The best part about Little Hope, it all comes together right at the end. There's this massive twist well, unless you've already found out that it was happening, there was this twist at the end that revealed something major. And from then on, everything that happened in the game really comes to light as its own individual story. It's very fragmented. It leaves a lot of questions until this final little needle drop, like click situation, which was very satisfying. I really, really liked it. Um, and it all comes together. But if you take two seconds from that moment, you then realize that every little person that you're caring about during the actual game, their lives literally mean nothing, except getting you like a good ending or a bad ending. It kind of felt a little bit weird looking back at it, but if you play it once and only once, the story and that click moment, in my opinion, is extremely satisfying. But I don't think I'd be able to play the game again knowing what I know now because my connection to the characters will be a lot less as far as everything goes uh it's about five hours of gameplay i would say on average if you play it it took me a little longer but that's because i'm an idiot um in games and i got lost a little bit something that also i would like to touch on is camera angles were kind of dog shit i found it very awkward to manipulate some of the moving commands and and some of the other stuff i i really found it hard to get good movement at the start of the game i feel like at the start they were trying to do cutesy angles and in some of them, it was really good because there's um, little moments where the angle of the camera is sitting behind like the road sign or something. And you are trying to move and it's frustrating, but the the, the shot of the whole area and seeing everything move, it, it's good cinematic shots, but it's very bad for gameplay. If they had the same cinematic shots, but I could move with the West keys, I would be more into it. I don't, uh, I played it with keyboard and mouse. I don't know if it's better on controller or not, but yeah, that's my experience. Overall, I really enjoyed the Dark Pictures A Little Hope. I found it better than the first iteration. I'm very excited to see their next one, which was teased at the end of this game. If I had to rate it out of 10, I would give this one a good eight out of 10. I would recommend you play it or at least watch someone play it. It's a really, really good game. Pick it up today. It's a bit expensive, but I think it's worth it for the experience. See everybody. Thanks for watching.